It's a very elaborate superstructure here. Okay, they got like a forklift. Coming into the mineral formation. Oh, dead on. I really like robotics a lot. I like Legos and robots, and it's fun programming them and building them. It looks like they're going to actually try and reach over and grab that hut. One minute. There you go. <laughs> Okay, nice, and it gets out. Oh, and a little, little extra help. Excellent, good job. I feel that the students that participate in our club and who came to the competition, this is one way for them to really show what they've learned and what they love to do, and it really gives them a chance to shine and be in the spotlight. Good, a little uh, action. And nice going. You have to find the right program and the right setting. You need a successful program to have your mission accomplished. The computer always does what you tell it to, but it's not always what you want it to do. Plenty of time to deliver the methane sensor. Oh, hook the volcano. They've learned great team building skills. I think that's huge, the social um, aspect. They have learned to apply mathematics skills. It's, it's integrated, it's real, it's every day. There's a flip system here. Yeah, no question about it. Nice work. They've been able to take what they've learned and they investigate the ongoing missions in space now. Um, and they can discuss it with their parents and other students in a really um, mature and knowledgeable way. Yeah, they got a volcano sense. Oh my goodness! They step up and they learn so much. And they feel like experts and they have had the experience of a lifetime today. Some, some people might think robotics is nerdy, but I would just tell them it's not. It's cool, you actually get to program it and build it, and once you see it in the competition, <clears throat> you feel proud.